New information, Madison County Probate Court recognized an aborted fetus as a person with legal rights, according to the local attorney that's never happened anywhere in the United States. This is an update to a story we brought you last month about a father who's suing the abortion clinic where his girlfriend terminated her pregnancy even though he wanted her to have the baby. Way 31's Sarah Singletary sat down with a young man and his attorney tonight and learned why the court's decision is so important to their case. Yeah, Dan, that's right. Because of the decision made here at the Madison County Courthouse, Baby Rose would be father and now Baby Roe are both suing the abortion clinic and others involved in terminating that pregnancy. We have already had a victory and it was the first one of its kind ever. A big step in the fight for a would-be father's rights and the rights of an aborted fetus. The Madison County probate judge granted Brett Helms client Ryan Major's request to represent Baby Rose estate. This is the first estate I'm aware of that has ever been opened for an aborted baby. Now that Baby Roe is recognized as a person in Madison County, Majors now legally represents Baby Roe. They can further pursue and not only me, but other fathers, other future fathers can actually pursue it as well. And they're both suing the Alabama Women's Center and others involved in terminating the pregnancy. The only thing that estate has is a right to sue. And so that's exactly what Ryan is doing, is suing on behalf of Baby Rose estate. Helms added that existing state law recognizes life begins at conception, which supports the case for Baby Rose estate. And because of that, he believes the case could go before the state Supreme Court. We are confident, and this is a step in the right direction. I talked to Madison County probate judge Frank Barger over the phone today and he couldn't give me any additional details on this case in particular or why he made the decision he did. But I know the next step now for Helms, Majors and Baby Row is April 1st. That's when the abortion clinic is legally required to respond to this lawsuit. Reporting live in Huntsville, Sarah Singletary, Way 31 News.